Unit 2. Grammar Presentation. Phrasal Verbs. One aspect of English which is difficult for learners are the phrasal verbs. A phrasal verb is a verb plus preposition. The meaning of the phrasal verb is different from the meaning of the verb without the preposition. For example, shut means to close, like shut the door. Up is a preposition that means in a higher direction. However, the phrasal verb shut up does not mean close in a higher direction. It means stop talking. In many cases, there is a verb which corresponds with the phrasal verb. In the case of shut up, we can say be quiet. Nevertheless, native English speakers use phrasal verbs in daily conversations. You can hear phrasal verbs in films, TV series, and songs. Here is a list of 10 common phrasal verbs, the translations, an additional verb to express the same meaning, and example sentences. Wake up, awaken, fill in, complete, pass away, die, keep on, continue, drop off, leave, pick up, collect or take, deal with, cope, count on, rely on, hold on, Wait. Run out of. Have no more. To wake up or to awaken. At night we sleep, but in the morning the alarm clock sounds and we stop sleeping. The moment when we stop sleeping, we wake up. Example. I wake up at six o'clock on Mondays, but my sister wakes up at nine o'clock. We can also use this phrasal verb to describe the action of causing another person to awaken. Example, Phil is sleeping, but he needs to go to work in half an hour. Wake him up. To fill in, to complete. This phrasal verb is important for official papers. We fill in forms and applications at the hospital, at government offices, and sometimes at work. Example. Please fill in the form with your full name, date of birth, and nationality. Fill in appears in English lessons also, when you must think of the appropriate word for the blanks. Example. Fill in the gap with the correct form of the verb to be. He, a tall man. To pass away, to die. When a friend or family member dies, it is a painful experience. Sometimes the word die causes suffering because we remember the person who died. Example. When my best friend's grandma passed away, he cried for days. 
Pass away is a calmer, nicer way to say die. Pass away expresses a certain degree of sympathy. Examples. I'm so sorry to hear that your dad passed away recently. I have many lovely memories of him. Keep on to continue. We can use keep on to encourage others not to give up. Another phrasal verb, which means to stop an activity. Example. Keep on trying. You can do it. This phrasal verb is also a way of expressing insistence, often to talk about something annoying. Examples. I keep on tripping on the stairs. My little sister keeps on stealing my sweatshirts. Please note that when you use a verb after a preposition, you must use the ing form of the verb. This includes verbs used after phrasal verbs. Example, I'm going to keep on calling until Jasmine picks up the phone. Drop off, to leave. The verb drop is allow to fall or to accidentally fall. The phrasal verb drop off refers to when we go to a place with a person, that person stays in the place, and we leave the place. For example, many parents drop off their children at school and then continue driving to work. Example, tomorrow morning, we have to drop off my parents at the airport. We don't drop off only people. We can also drop off objects. Example, she will drop off the papers at the notary before she goes home. Pick up, to collect or to take. This phrasal verb is the opposite of the previous one, drop off. If a mother drops off her children at school at nine o'clock in the morning, she will pick them up at four o'clock in the afternoon. Example. Hi mom, the film ends at half past eleven. Can you pick me up at quarter to twelve? We also use this phrasal verb to refer to objects. In one sense, it simply means to take. If you have a pencil and a piece of paper on your desk, the teacher may tell you, pick up the pencil and write your name on the paper. Example. When you do the shopping at the supermarket, can you pick up some tea? Another sense of pick up for objects is when a room is untidy. Then, pick up means put the objects in their correct place. Example, Bobby needs to pick up his toys if he wants to go to the aquarium tomorrow. In the case of pick up, you can put the person or object after the phrasal verb, I pick up the book, or between the verb and the preposition, I pick the book up. There is no difference in meaning. To deal with, to cope. Deal with is not a happy phrasal verb. It implies problems of some type that we need to solve. It can refer to our manner of talking to difficult people 
and attempting to resolve their complaints. Example, as a customer service representative, I have to deal with angry customers on the phone all day. We can also use deal with to refer to problems in general, at work, or in other aspects of life, which we try to solve. Example, he deals with a lot of computer problems in his job as an IT technician. Finally, and perhaps most commonly, we use deal with when we talk about emotional problems, such as stress from work, problems with family, or sadness after a loved one passes away. Example, it was hard for us to deal with the loneliness after our mother passed away. Count on, to rely on, to depend on. Unfortunately, not all people are reliable. It is important that, when we are in a serious situation, we can identify the people we can trust to help us. We can count on those people. These are the people who can help us solve a problem, and even if they cannot solve the problem, they listen to us and sympathize. Example. We can always count on Perry to say something funny and make us laugh. If we expect something to happen, we can also use the phrasal verb count on. Example, Amber was counting on a raise when she decided to buy that BMW. Hold on, to wait. The phrasal verb hold on means to wait with the implication that the wait will be short. If your friend's mom answers the phone, she may tell you to hold on while she goes to tell your friend. Example, where was that actor born? Hold on. Let me check the internet. It also has an inspirational meaning. If a person has problems and they want to give up, remember that this verb is stop doing an activity. We tell the person to hold on and keep on trying. Example, I know you hate going to the gym, but hold on because soon you will see the results of all the exercise. Run out of, to have no more. This phrasal verb usually refers to food and drinks, but it can also refer to other things, such as petrol or ideas. In any case, at one point, we had this object, or some of this thing, and now we do not have more. If you suggest various ideas, and your friend rejects all the ideas, you will finally say that you ran out of ideas. Examples I couldn't keep on baking cakes because I ran out of eggs. The police officer finally ran out of patience and arrested the drunk man.